Hey YouTube, so it's been about, I think about four months since I've done a video um, as far as for my VSG surgery. So I had time today, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a update um, so I can let everyone know, you know, what's been going on. So if you're not already watching my videos, um, I had VSG surgery on December 1st, 2020. Um, pretty much everything has been going pretty good. Um, I went and actually seen my uh, dietitian yesterday, um, Dr. Greg at TM TMH Bariatric Center. Um, he was so happy with the way that my journey is going. Um, he gave me a slip yesterday. Let me see what this slip was saying, which I hadn't really been keeping track of like my BMI or measurements or anything like that. But let's see what this says here. So I know he said that when I started my BMI, and I'm just reading this off my paper, um, he said my BMI to start before surgery was 39, I want to say he said. Um, right now, my BMI is at a 27.6. So this is month five, month five um, since I had my surgery. So my BMI is now a 27.6. Back in December, it was a 39. Um, he said my fat mass is at a 47.5. And let's see, what's the desired range? It just says fat and then percent. Let me show y'all this. So it says that my fat percent is at a 32.5 and he wants it to be between a 21 and 33, which it is. But as you can see at the bottom, he has fat to lose and he wants me to lose five pounds. So hopefully you couldn't see my weight on there because I am going to try to save that towards the end. Um, a day of surgery, I was at... 213 if i'm not mistaken yeah 213 the day of surgery um and so i'm gonna give y'all my final weight at the end um so i did want to let y'all know that i have been having a hard time with my vitamins um i keep switching vitamins so right now um the ones that i am on i'm taking vitamin d3 Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, I'm also doing biotin, but it um also known as hair, skin, and nails. Then I do take a B12. And now the D3 and the biotin are gummies. And this vitamin B12 is like a dissolving tablet. You could chew it, whatever. But I'm not really good with uh, pills. I don't really care for pill vitamins. Um, and then I got a women's multivitamin. Now, all of those, I take two gummies a day. And then with the vitamin B12, um, I just take one. Um, let's see what else. Now, I am back to eating. Let me turn the light on. I am back to eating regular food. Um... Of course, you have to be cautious of your portion, um, which, you know, your stomach is not going to let you eat in a whole bunch of food. Um, but I do still do my protein shakes. And this one is the strawberries and cream. And then my favorite, bananas and cream. Um, and I usually try to do 
one of those for breakfast and maybe one for lunch or maybe one for breakfast one for dinner and eat a meal for lunch um i have not really been eating too many meats um i've been trying to do like a seafood where i just eat like shrimp crab and pretty much that's about it i don't i really don't do too many other ones um, but I do I do still eat some meats, but um, it's just harder on my stomach. So I just prefer to do the um, seafood um, I do have Now these are good These are the light fit Greek strawberry and cheesecake Yogurts Those are good. It really does taste just like cheesecake and I'll usually have those as a snack or like I said, I might do one for breakfast or just I'll, I'll, I'll eat it throughout the day. And then I have my little baby bells. I love cheese. Um, What else have I been eating? Oh, your water. Now, I'm in love with Fiji water. Now, Fiji water it's probably not expensive to some people, but it is expensive. Um, I think just like for a case of either like four or six is like over $10 and that's expensive for me for water, but I buy it cause I do like it. Um, now on occasions, sneak this in here on occasions, depending what the occasion is, if I have some friends coming over or if we might, hang out um do do not follow what i do talk to your doctor always but i like these these seagram um escapes um it comes with a bunch of different flavors like the bahama mama or the jamaican me happy um i didn't look at the back of the label to see the calories on those so i'm not even gonna talk about that um let me see what else i was trying to see what other foods that i have in there oh let me tell y'all for a treat i have just fell in love with this and now let me say this so it's a ice cream um it's by yasso i believe that's how you pronounce it now one bar is a hundred calories but but it has five grams of protein. So let me show y'all these. These are my. So I have to, ha I, I don't have to have those. Let me not say that. But um, I do like to have one. It kind of like satisfies me going and getting like chocolate chip cookies or eating cake. You know, so at least I'm getting, it's not too high in calories. Too high in calories, which is 100. Um, I know they do have some ice creams, I think, that were 80. Um, but I think it only had like 2 grams of protein. So, I was just like, well, even though it has more calories, it does have 5 grams of protein. Um, so, let me see. Now, I am going to insert some pictures so that y'all can see my progress as far as me um, losing weight. Um, what I'm going to do now, because I didn't want to make this video too long, um, but like I said, I am going to put the picture so you can see, but I'm actually going to give you a live of me getting on the scale. All right, so y'all just ignore my toes, but I am about to get on the scale for y'all so y'all can see. And I did just finish eating some crab legs. Hopefully that doesn't do, do me too bad. But that is my weight right now today. Now, like I said, um, when I did start off five months ago with my surgery, I did start off at 213. So that is a 67, um, 67 pounds in five months. So when people tell y'all or when someone goes and gets this VSG surgery, um, the gastric sleeve, it is a tool to help you lose the weight. Now, I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm giving, that's why I went ahead and got on the scale so y'all could see. 
if you use your tool the right way, you will lose this weight. Like I don't, I guess some, some people could fall off, you know, every, everybody, everybody is different, but from everything I've seen, even like on Instagram, I have a, a VSG group on my Instagram. Um, and everybody is losing weight that has had VSG surgery. Um, it may not all fall off at one time, which, you know, sometimes is good. So that way your skin is able to snatch back. Um, I still am taking my collagen. I believe I did take a picture of the collagen that I was taking um, in one of my previous videos, but I will show y'all again. And I do normally one scoop of that and um, I'll put it in my, either my protein shake or I have started drinking um, tea and lemonade and I mix them together. Um, and I do use decaffeinated tea. Um, and I use, I put it actually made a big old, I think it's a gallon pitcher and I only use one cup of sugar. Um, I'm sure there is a sugar that you could use to substitute instead of just the regular sugar, but... I felt like for a gallon of tea, decaffeinated tea and like lemon juice, um, one cup shouldn't hurt. Um, so I do mix my collagen in with that and drink it throughout the day. But um, what I'm going to say is I'm just very, very thankful. Like when I add my pictures on here, um, I'm going to try to see if I can find a before picture for, you know, anyone that's new watching my videos. But I'm very thankful for my surgery. Like I said, I lost 67 pounds um, and I did not have any complications at all during surgery. Um, I know last week or the week before, I think it was oh, last week, I was stalling. I was like 150, 153 for like the longest. Um, I even did just a liquid diet just to you know try to get some of the weight to fall off which it did work um but i stalled at like 150 153 for almost like two or three weeks so that did get real frustrating because i know that i'm not eating so i don't understand why the weight was not falling off but in all due time you just have to kind of just go with the flow so don't let it get you frustrated if you're not losing the weight like pounds and pounds a day um it's fine it will Trust me, it will come off. Um, I do go to the gym now. Um, I've been going to the gym maybe about a good month or a month and a half. I go to Planet Fitness. Um, I do work out for at least an hour. And Planet Fitness has a toning machine that I use as well. So I normally try to go to the gym at least six days a week. Sometimes I may go seven just depending on how I feel when I get off work. Um, but I do try to make it a habit to go to the gym or at least do a workout routine at home. Now, when I am at the gym, I did order some, um, sweatbands off of Amazon. So the sweatbands I got, I got, it came with, I'll put the link in the, um, in the, uh, description, but I got a And I guess that just says IO, IOX sweats. And now, and it wasn't too bad. I don't want, I don't want to say it was over $30, but it comes with the, the waistband. It comes with two, with the arms and it comes with the leg. Now I put I would normally wear those um I do the arm ones because I do want my arms to um you know still shrink but stay firm. Um I'm really trying as hard as I can not to have uh like too much saggy skin. Um but I do put those on when I go to the gym. Um and normally I'll put on a long sleeve shirt on top of those and then pants of course. So I really try to work up a good sweat when I'm at the gym. Um, and those do help. Um, my arms don't sweat as much and my legs don't either, but my stomach does. 
Um, I even tried doing the, uh, like the vapor rub where you put the vapor rub on and then do the plastic wrap. But I think that the plastic, not the plastic wrap, but the vapor rub, I think it was irritating my skin. So I just said, forget it. Um, but I do just wear those to, you know, try to get some type of sweat. But I did just want to do a video just so y'all can know, you know, what's been going on. Everything is good. Like I said, I'm using my tool to the best of my ability. Um, like I said, I'm still eating. I can eat pretty much anything I want. Um, I, I don't eat candy, though. Um, I really don't care for any candy. But um, like I said, with the ice cream, that's what I use as far as if I just have a sweet tooth or just want to eat something sweet, I'll eat those ice cream bars. Um, but that is pretty much it. Just giving you an idea of what I eat. Um, like I said, I still do the protein shakes. I think every I think everyone that's pretty much had VSG surgery from what I see still does their protein shakes. Um, or either some type of smoothie and adding protein to it. Um, but my doctor did express that you do have to make sure that you are staying hydrated and that you are keeping that protein up. Um, I still do use, I don't know if anybody else uses the My Fitness Pal um, that you can use to count your calories and protein and track your weight loss. Um, the reason why I use that app is because you could take a picture of the barcode and it'll put all the information about what you're eating on there. So you don't have to go through and put in, okay, this has 10 calories. Um, it has four grams of protein. You don't have to do all that. You just scan the barcode and it puts it on there for you. All you got to do is mark it if you're eating it for breakfast, dinner, or lunch, and it does the rest. Um, and then it also tracks your weight loss for you. So it tells you, um, you know, I put in my start weight, which was 213. I put in my goal weight, which was, oh, I'm not, okay, I'm, okay, I already added the clip of my weight. But my um, goal weight originally was 150. Um, now that I'm at 147, which the scale just said, um, I'm going to try to go for 130. Um, my doctor stated that, the goal is still to lose the weight, but you want to get to a weight that you're able to maintain. So one, I guess 150 would have still been a healthy weight for me. Um, and I can, and I can maintain 150. I was 150, I believe before I even, of course, before I started having my kids, but, um, that was a weight that I was able to maintain. But I believe too, that if I get to 130, that I can maintain 130. Um, using that My Fitness Pal um, app, you can go in there and put what your goal is as far as like you want to weigh 130 or you know whatever your goal may be. Um, and it will calculate how many pounds you you should lose per day and also your calories, like your intake. Um, you know how many calories you should have to be able to get to this goal. And I also want to say, does it, I want to say it gives you a time frame. Yeah, I think depending on how long, how long you set your time frame for, it'll say, okay, well, you need to lose a pound and a half a day, or you need to lose two pounds a day, depending on what your time frame is. I believe you could set that on the, um, on the app. But other than that, Everything has pretty much just been going really good. Y'all are going to be able to see from my videos like I'm just, I may not seem too excited, but I am like really, I was, you know, this, I was this weight before. So it just feels really good to be able to get back to this weight. Um, And from my pictures, y'all are going to be like, this is amazing. And when my doctor seen me, he was in shock. He was like, let me tell you. He was like, what do people say when they come up to you? And I'm like, not too many people have asked me, you know, what I have done, which is not a secret. I have a whole YouTube on it. But, and on my Instagram, I talk about it too. But um, I just say, you know, people say, you know, you look good. Um, you know, embrace your body, love yourself, you know, and that's about it. I've had a few people that ask me, you know, what I did. And I told them, hey, I went and got VSG. Like, 
if you are if you have exhausted everything possible i exhausted everything possible before i went and got the surgery i've i if you name it i probably already done it so try to exhaust everything you can first and then just do your research like my doctor um dr elliot seeloff that's the doctor that did my surgery um here in tallahassee florida he is amazing he 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 know he's been he knows he knows everything but i'm telling you it was it was a, a process and you know i started i want to say the first time i actually started looking into it it was back in september of was it 2000 i think 2019 and then they wanted me to lose weight they wanted me to you know, stop eating certain things. And it's a life change to prep you for when you do have the surgery, but I just wasn't as serious. So I just said, forget it. And then, you know, I tried back again in 2020 and was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take it serious. I'm going to do it this time. And so that's what I did. And I got, I got denied. I got videos on that. But then once I finally got approved and got the surgery, it, it is, it's worth it. Like, uh, um, and I'm not bashing anybody, you know, people go and get, you know, liposuction, which I'm thinking about probably doing, but cause you know, certain things aren't sitting how they used to be now that we lost the weight. But anyways, um, you go and get certain surgeries like a tummy tuck or liposuction or BBLs, um, which is all fine. But I think the only issue, cause those, I considered those before even getting the VSG surgery. But the thing was, is that those surgeries are not a weight loss surgeries. So yeah, I'm going to have a tummy tuck and my stomach is going to be tight, you know, with tight skin, flat, but I'm still going to eat a whole Hungry Howie's pizza in one sitting. So it would be pointless of getting a tummy tuck or getting the liposuction, you know? So I took the the step I felt was needed first is to do a lifestyle change, which was the VSG surgery. So now if I did decide that I wanted to get a tummy tuck or liposuction or a BBL, I know that I will be able to maintain, maintain the outcome of those surgeries now that I'm not eating, you know, a whole pizza or four plates of spaghetti or, you know, stuff like that, I would be able to maintain the figure that I get once I get the tummy tuck or liposuction or the BBL. So that's why if people ask me, you know, what I've done or if anybody has any questions about the VSG, I'm, I'm all for it. I say, listen, go watch my YouTube. It, I got everything on there as far as even how to get approved, how to overturn a denial. I got everything on there, but it's, I feel like it's well worth it. And once I post these pictures, y'all are going to be like, yeah, it, it's, it's a big change. I look at old pictures and videos. And matter of fact, I'm going to post a TikTok video I did with uh, my boyfriend. And I was, I'm not going to say huge. In my mind, where I know where I wanted to be, I was huge. And then I look at myself now, and it's a big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling on. I'm going to go ahead and put in the pictures and add some videos so that y'all can see what changes have been made. I'm cute in the face, thick in the waist, thick in the thighs. Now watch me ride, 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 ride.